Uh, September is National Pain Awareness Month, focusing on people who are dealing with chronic pain, an issue that impacts a lot of people. We're joined this morning by Joe Rothperl, who's managing chronic pain from an injury he had eight years ago. And he's here to talk about what's helping him deal with that pain. Joe, good morning, and thank good you morning. for being here to share thank your you. story. We appreciate it. Tell people a little bit about um, your story, that be this journey that began eight years ago for you. Eight years ago, I bought a new car, a Dodge Challenger, and I hurt my neck about six months after I got it. I was in a neck brace. I had surgeries that lasted for years. And it took me uh, to recover. I focused on taking pictures. I couldn't take pictures of the new car I got, so I started collecting Hot Wheels, die cast, and other Challengers similar size. Yeah. And taking pictures, and it made me smile so much, I felt I needed to share it. So I started a blog, which turned into a website, challengerofthedaycom and uh, it just took off from there. Sharing the smiles came back to me. I was driven to share more and make more people smile just to make them feel better in a way that I was starting to feel better. Chronic pain is something that a lot of people live with and it's, it's not always easy. It's day in, day out, finding ways to manage that. How did you go about finding a way to manage your chronic pain? Talking to my mom when this first started, she was actually diagnosed with multiple myeloma mm -hmm. and was going through uh, stem cell transplants. She's in remission now. And we spoke a lot about this, and she told me to smile. That even when you're not feeling well, smiling sends signals to your brain, and it's, uh, your brain can't resist it. it. It automatically gets those happy feelings. Mm -hmm. And I just trained myself to do that. I told myself to think positive, be positive every day. Uh, I shared it in my posts every day, and it kind of became a self-fulfilling prophecy that smiling now comes easy to me, and it makes me feel better every time I do it, and I just want to do it more and share that feeling with other people so that they can get better in the way that I have. I imagine for each individual, it's a journey to kind of find both how you manage that chronic pain and how you maintain that mentality of smiling and happiness. So you are now sharing your journey with other people who are also impacted by chronic pain and people, just everyday people, about kind of maintaining uh, that persona as you move forward and that happiness. Absolutely. Why is it so important for you to share that message now? Uh, I feel that I'm, I'm driven to do this. Smiling helped me feel better. Smiling helped me go from a person who was on morphine, was taking medication, mm. realized that wasn't helping me and that I was going to have to live with this pain that may never go away. And I had to compartmentalize it and find a way to do that. And perspective was the way I came across it. Taking pictures helped me smile. And it started that simply, just taking pictures of something I loved. And initially, it was the car I got, but it turned into the small cars because I couldn't get out and drive for years at a time. Mm -hmm. um, and sharing it just brought such smile and joy to me. I, I just felt that this was a gift that I needed to share with other people. And Hopefully they can uh, take a cue from it. And I've met a lot of people who have similar issues. There, mm. there are over 50 million people who suffer with chronic pain every day in this country. And that doesn't include children. That's just adults. Mm. Over 20 million people are, of them are impacted daily with their ability to function and work and do other things, take care of their family. Um, I'm very grateful and thankful that I had my family to take care of me and help me through this. And all of the people that I've met and come across uh, it's just been a blessing, and it's just, uh, it, it keeps going. The more yeah. I smile, the more I share, the more it comes back to me. We've got a little under a minute. I want to ask you, because you mentioned those people. You're sharing your passion. What are you learning from those people you're meeting who are in similar situations? I'm learning more about what I went through. I'm mm -hmm. learning more about how difficult it really was. I'm in a place right now where it's easy for me to talk about this. This is not something that most people have an easy time talking about it. And I think that's a real part of this issue is that the majority of visits for um, hospitals and health things like this are for pain. Mm. Pain is the number one thing. It's the common denominator that brings us all together. And yet it's the hardest thing for people to talk about. And on the other end, it's the hardest thing for people to listen. Yeah. So if, if you have pain, if you have chronic pain, you need to find an outlet. You need to find something you enjoy and focus on that and try to smile. Smiling is the number one thing. It will come back to you. Tell people your website if they want to follow you and, and learn more about you. My website is challengerofthedaycom I have another website. It's eastwayinsuranceagency.com. It's my job. And we share photos, we share pictures to make people smile every day. 
uh, in my job, we help people with Medicare A and B insurance. We deal with a lot of people with chronic pain and mm. um, issues, and um, we try to help them smile too. All right, Joe, thank you so much for sharing your story and for your time this thank morning. You really very appreciate much, it. Matt. Great to meet you. Thank you.